Hi everyone, this is a technical analysis on USDJPY. Let's start with a fundamental overview first. The USD last week saw a quick dip against the yen following the soft US CPI report as the market priced back in to rate cuts by the end of the year. The moves were reversed soon after though, as we got a bit more hawkish than expected the FMC decision, where the dot plot showed that the Fed expected just one cut for the year despite the soft US CPI report. Later on, Fetcher Powell backpedaled on the projections, making them a bit less worrying as the central bank remains very data dependent. Nonetheless, the path of least resistance remains to the upside, as the market doesn't have strong bullish drivers for the yen yet. In fact, the JPY continues to lose ground against the major currencies amid the general pickup in global growth and overall positive risk sentiment, even if we get bouts of risk off here and there. We will likely need weak US, growth, weak US growth data to see some more yen strength, but it might be short-lived if it's not enough to make the market to price in more aggressive rate cuts for the Fed. The BOJ disappointed the markets last week, leaving bond purchases unchanged despite expectations of a reduction. This was reversed in the press conference though, as BOJ Governor Weta said that they will begin tapering bond purchases immediately after the July meeting, and the size of the tapering will be substantial. In the bigger picture though, this is mostly noise as the pickup in global growth and the positive resentment are stronger drivers at the moment. Now on the daily chart, we can see that USDJPY continues to drift higher towards the intervention level at 160. That's where we will likely find the seller stepping in more aggressively with a defined risk above the level to position for a drop into the trend line. If the price were to further break below the trend line, it would give the sellers a bit more confidence to increase the bearish bets and start targeting new lows with the 151.85 level as the first target. On the 4-hour chart, we can see that the price is now trading right around the key 158 resistance. The buyers will want to see a break up to the upside to increase the bullish bets into the 160 level while the sellers will likely lean on this uh, level to position for a drop into this trend line. On the 1 hour chart, we can see that the price has been trading inside this rising channel and continues to struggle around this resistance. If we get a pullback from this level, the buyers will likely step in around the 157 handle where we have the confluence of the lower bound of the channel and the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. These red lines define the average daily range for today. Tomorrow we get the US housing starts, building permits and the latest US jobless claims figures. On Friday we conclude the week with the Japanese and US PMIs.